G'day, Ross from Permi Vision here. And just doing a short video on what we've done with our road. Uh, more from the perspective of what's good with it now rather than what's wrong with it. So I guess this is, this is what we're really trying to achieve. You see behind me, the track going down with no drains in it at all. And obviously, as I've talked about in other videos, the water just gets on these hills and tears them up. And typically the Filipinos, I haven't seen too many drains across roads to control. Now in Australia, we have drains regularly and there's a, a real you know, the method or published. I've got a document there by, I think it's New South Wales Forestry or somebody in New South Wales Main Roads that shows you know, how to build these and what distance you need to have drains across the road depending on the steepness and the soil type. Now it's quite detailed and in fact, it, you know, it's how to build proper roads. I'm taking some of that, I'm, I'm certainly not, you know, they're talking about highways and major tracks there. This is only a very minor, um, you know, farm road. But anyway, I'll turn it around and I'll show you what we've done here and I'm really happy with this one. So we're just coming down for an inspection. We've just had a look at one, I'll show that in a minute. Uh, this drain works really well. What we had was a lot of soil on top of this and it was quite muddy. So we've had them bring up river gravel. Oh, this is it's spot on now. So we just need a little bit more here, a bit more there. Um, yeah, this is great because this is drying out pretty well. So a few more sacks there. I mean, we could pass this now. This wouldn't be a problem. Even here, it's um, that'll just that'll just help to compress it if we drive over it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so here's the. This is our lowest drain so far. Uh, we may do another two further down, but for the moment, this is the lowest, and this is just above our property boundary. So. We've got a reasonable slope here. This was the one that I got the guys, I showed them using the, uh, the barrel, you know, metal uh, digger to take off this, get a more slope on that so it's not as jarring on the vehicles and then extend it further. Now, this could be done a bit bigger. I don't think we need it here. Um, this isn't gonna pick up a huge amount of water. Maybe coming from up there, a little bit from here, so it's it's not a major one. This one was flowing really good the other night when it rained. So they put uh, gravel on the top of this from the river. Uh, none there. I'm hoping the grass will grow back over that section. And this is really quite firm now, almost like concrete. Um, I think this is going to be quite stable. We've got a little bit of gravel in here as well. Uh, again, I'm hoping that um, we'll get grass growing here. We've we put the tufts of grass in to start that process. And you can see here that they've done it quite flat. And then in here, the water can disperse across. Well, they would probably end up digging down there, but that's right. It's, it's flowing and taking a little bit of soil with it, but that'll now add soil onto our property. Um, the water from here, I'm not sure whether it's going down there past the tree. There's a, another small lump that way, so. I guess it'll be going or just sinking into our property, uh, which is great. So, so this one is, you know, really, really pleased with the way that this has turned out. And we're aiming to get the same type of thing all the way up. Uh, there's a few sections where it has been quite muddy and we filled it with gravel here just to try to minimize um, the damage. See, it dries out very quick. It's been basically two days now without rain and uh, it's drying out well. This is the section that I'm worried about. And then here's our next one up here. So my strategy is get as much water as I can off from going into that there, which potentially can, uh, you know, cut the, get the road off. And here we'll put a bit more gravel here but pretty much this is drivable easily now in, a, in the two-wheel drive. And uh, here's our other big one now. We've got a big pile of soil there. I'll get them to drop more of that down and make this a larger 
uh, or deeper bump if you like. If we can get two, of, we've got about a meter there, two meters here. If we can get two, three, or maybe more even of that soil and make this bigger and doesn't really need to be higher. I think that's fine. We can scoop the, the drain out a bit more if we need to. Uh, but again, this one um, is capturing the water from this gutter and the other side, nice and flat through here. And at the end of this, it's just the water is just flowing down there and into the gully, but it's not going to hurt anything. And if, if I can harness this later with the swale here, I will. So look, this has been, um, we're at Thursday now. We've been, this is the fourth day on this, uh, but really pleased with the results. Um, this has been a constant, almost three years of having the farm and constant problems with access. I think it was only the last trip that, that we were able to get in and drive all the way into the house. So again, this one here, we've this is more than enough i've had them this one put a lot of uh the soil downhill of this and it's built up and there's no way that the water is going to get through that and again nice and flat here um, and distributing the water out when it gets out to here Uh, and again, I think I can get a swale here to, to grab that water and hold it on our property. So really happy, very happy with this. And we're about to, we're giving the young, young fellow a heap of bags and um, he's going to fill the gravel. I think Dennis tells me we've got about 20 bags. We can fill those with gravel and then... Um, once they're full, we'll bring the ute down and we can use it to take it up to the higher areas and uh, certainly saves them. It's pretty hard work carrying those bags of gravel up the hill. So we'll uh, hopefully by the end of today, but if not tomorrow, we'll have a working road that we can trust to get in and out. Now this is the, my only concern here. Still quite damp, we've put gravel on here, but we didn't quite drain out all the water. And this is still a bit muddy. Ideally, we probably need this to come down even a bit more. Uh, I mean, I do think the, the sun's gonna dry this out, but of course with the gravel now, that's probably gonna slow that process down. But I don't think the car will have any problem getting over that. So we're just going to have to monitor this one and if it needs to be dug out more, you can see here where it's still a bit moist there. The problem was here that um, where it exits here into this swale is about the same level. Or actually, sorry, a bit higher than, than that. But I'm not worried about it at the moment because our fellas are digging down here and extending our swale and I think we can certainly funnel it into the swale or in fact even have a dam down there. So we'll re-divert this then straight across and, and into that and fix this problem properly. Anyway, that's about it. We've got this other one here that's functioning well. We just need to clean a little bit of soil out of there. And uh, we've got one more before the house and then it's the rest of the road. So going great we're getting access is is number one apart from water really so uh, now that that's done um, being able to get in and out easily because at the moment if it rains we basically got to wait a day until it dries out enough so you anyway, know the test will be tomorrow we're going to go into the local village uh, get some supplies and so we'll see how we uh, how we fare going up this hill See you later.